Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create MS Word document using dynamic fields. Right, so this is your document. All the text which is in color red are to be entered manually. So we will make use of a concept called uh, quick fields of MS Word and update these fields dynamically. So let's see how to do that. So in, in this exercise we have two sections. One is to create bookmarks and other one is to create fields and update the fields with the value from bookmark. So we need to keep a section called bookmarks. Okay. So I have already created the sections. This is to you know uh, see I uh, mean keep the names. So now I will create bookmarks. So how to create bookmarks? Okay, you click this is to you know, this is kind of a placeholder. You go here, click here under insert links bookmarks. Okay, the bookmark name is name. And okay, similarly, we need to create bookmarks for all these fields. Okay. OJ date of journey I'll just say EID and COMP for company okay now we have created bookmark sections bookmarks okay how to get the values for bookmarks we need to ask user to enter the names okay so for that we need to make use of the quick field quick part so there is a field called ask it will ask the user to enter the book value for bookmark so first prompt what should be the prompt okay the bookmark here is name so this is how it looks as soon as you update it will ask for the name so we'll enter the name okay now this bookmark contains the value krishna okay so check your bookmarks ones okay these are the bookmarks all right so let's get the value for each of the bookmarks okay okay so same thing for salary Okay, uh, now we have created the bookmarks and the you know, uh, fields to ask the value of the bookmarks. Okay, all these bookmarks contains the value, whatever we enter from the you know ask prompt. So now the second part, second part is to place the uh, value from bookmarks to here. Okay, I'll just remove this. Okay, I'll go to insert this is a quick fields right quick fields and field okay here just go here formula remove this is equal to say say type ref that's reference and the value is the bookmark okay so this field is an is the name field 
okay reference name okay so whatever is present in this bookmark will appear here okay so where else we have name field okay here okay delete this go to quick parts insert the field F and then bookmark all right okay so similarly we need to create fields for all quick part fields for all these fields okay so I will remove this I think I have not mentioned designation here yes okay I'll keep this as it is the salary remove the salary Plugin ID Plug ID Date of Joining okay so where else we have these fields here so this is something like age okay same thing age. then the company name on which we joined okay and this salary Here it should be name. Okay, so okay, now I have completed the you know, uh, up creating fields for all of these dynamic fields. Okay, let's see how it works now. Okay. Okay, uh, there is a concept called uh, VBA. I can generate a VBA code to update, I mean, uh, place a button somewhere here, and if I press that, it will update all the fields. So I will place a button here. Okay, for that, you need to go to Okay. Okay. Place a button here. 
view code. Okay, this will, I mean, this code will update all the fields present in the document. Okay, so now it's in design mode. Okay, you come out of the design mode, so you can now click the button. Okay, so it is asking for the name. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll change the values now. okay okay name it is taking twice so this field there is a it should seems whatever we enter at the end is taking okay but nevertheless this is how we do dynamic and 